Hello and welcome to King Pasha's Garage. Today I'm showing you this, the number 03 plus 2021 Link and Company. Who names their car 03 plus? That's just a weird name. But either way, I'm going to show you guys two cars, two tunes, same car. All right, so here we got the master all-wheel drive drift. This thing has a wide body kit, and this one here has no wide body kit. And I'm going to cover both cars today. But first, I'm going to give you guys the share code to both of them. So if you want a wide body kit, here's the share code for the wide body kit. Got it? Great. Here's the share code for the car without a wide body kit. So you'll, you'll see the two different cars uh, as I do this video. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this. They both have 1,356 horsepower, same torque. All right, the, the, the wide body kit is definitely heavier than the non-wide body kit. I mean, look, look at the differences right there. You can tell the differences from um, my previous, which is the wide body versus the non-wide body. So um, you can see there's huge differences when it comes to just weight alone. Um, they're both snow tire compound, drift suspension, both all-wheel drive, and a lot of fun. So yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. As you can tell, there it is. There's the wide body kit. You can see it's beautiful. Okay, you got the racing 7.2 liter V8 in there. It's an S1900. You can use this in open drifts, drift lobbies, and I do as well, and it's a lot of fun. It's got the stock drivetrain, which is all-wheel drive. It's got a twin turbo. And like I said, it's got the wide body kit. As you can tell, look at that. Look how much it just jumps. All right, and then it just gets really diff different. I mean, yeah, it's two different, you know, body kits. Um, it looks good. It really does look good on there. Of course, it's two different wide body kits or body kits in general. All right. I went with the uh, the rear wing on here, the the race rear wing. Um, it looks good on there. I mean, yeah, you could have gone with this one, but look, I went right up to an S2 class uh, running uh, that one. But with running this one, I mean, yeah, because that's non-adjustable. Um, running this one, I was able to uh, keep it there, and it, it looks good. I like that thing. So uh, you also have these other options and then that option as well. You could go with this one also as well and keep it into the... Uh, S1 if you wanted like the paint on the sides, you know, it's just a bigger spoiler in the back Okay, got snow tire compound Stock in the front and stock in the rear I'm using my favorite rims the TC 105 ends are at the bottom here. They're pretty easy to find and they're in sport rim style You got 19s in the front and 19s in the rear You got a race clutch uh, Six-speed race transmission, uh, race driveline, and a drift differential. You got race brakes, drift springs, anti-roll bars for both the front and the rear, both raced. No roll cage, as you can tell, anything would change it up to an S2 class. And it's got a street weight reduction, so at least you're saving some weight. You're saving 90 pounds. It's something. You know, you got 1,356 horsepower. It's all good. You know, you do any of these other stuff, you're definitely going to hit the S2 range. You know, and of course, it's got everything on here when it comes to power to get that 1,356 horsepower. And it's got the race flywheel as well. I don't know how far down the list I have from recent captures. Um, I mean, I would have to find it. Uh, there's this right here. I was doing something. I guess I was going to see. Oh, yeah. I was seeing how fast I can go with that. Well, here's this one right here. The Lincoln Company. And I had my friend Funky. Uh, he rocks with me all the time. Um, and he got some really good close scores to me when we were on the, uh, you know, on that arch circuit right there. Um, so we were able to do that. Uh, and I think that's actually with the, uh, the regular, right? I mean, with the non-wide body kit. They're, they're going to be close to, to, to scores on these things, uh, regardless. Um, I just wanted to know if I had any recent, like, clips. Oh, there's this one right here. This one has it. So... A little blotchy, but it gets to the point, shows you guys 
just think you can get some serious points. I mean, look at that. There's a 43.5 with the car. So, you know, it's a really, really good car. All right. We will even take it outside uh, after I show you guys the tune to carry this thing along. So you got 55, 55. Uh, to make it uh, super slippery, it weighs it weighs a hefty 3,500 pounds. It weighs way more than the uh, non-body, non-wide body. So yeah. Either way, here's my gearing. Here's my alignment. It's a little different. Um, I was able to you know have a nice top speed and everything else. So I changed up these numbers a little bit just to you know give you guys a change. Anti-roll bars are just there to save weight. So it's just one and one. All right, springs are on the very soft side, 369, 369. It gives you a little bit more points running in that way. I brought the uh, the rear to max match the front. Dampening is 21, 20, and 20. It works. Don't ask me how. There is downforce on this. It has a wide body kit, so I put the spoiler in the back just just because for some reason, if you don't have downforce in the back, the car is really hard to drift uh, or control. Um, but by putting the rear downforce on this, it was able to fix it, makes it handle a lot better. Braking, I just left it at 50 and 100. I know how you guys are. And then uh, differential is 76, 86, 97, 97. And there's 65% going to the rear. It's not 71. It's not 84. It's not 86. Like I said, this car is a, it, it's different. It's a, it's a wild little drifter. Um, you, you got to be careful with this, especially the, uh, the non-wide body kit that's even lighter and still is just as powerful. Um, you know, so you just got to be careful with her. She, uh, she is a slider, you know, you, you're going to be, you know, pumping your, um, you know, accelerator, uh, more with this thing. Um, but with that downforce there, like even with 65, you know, that, that back end will kick out. Uh, no problem. Uh, but, yeah. Pretty, pretty easy uh, car with that downforce. And it looks good. And, you know, it's, it's all part of the car. It really just does look good. All right, we already know what the car can hit on that corner back there. So we don't have to go there. All right, we already know this thing hits a 43.5, you know, plus. So we know it's good. Pretty easy to, pretty easy to drive. It's fun. I enjoy it. Let's go to the next car. As you can tell, I have a King's Grip Racer. It's not shared. It's I'm working on it. But as you can tell, look at that 850 horsepower A class. I will drive. Yeah, on drags. Yeah, you better believe that thing's fun. All right. So now we're at Legend. You can see there's there's the change. All right, we're, we're saving some weight. All right, it's going to look like a completely different car. All right, and we'll have a nice look at it. You know, so it is different. You know, it doesn't have the spoiler in the back there. It has none, you know, so on and so forth. It's got the same rims, whatnot. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely uh, lighter. So, yeah, so let's uh, look at Legend here. So, same thing. 7.2, we all know that. Get out of that. All wheel drive drivetrain, twin turbo, non wide body kit. So, yeah. Um, you can go this route, but, you know, you're probably not going to get down to 29, you know, 39 for sure. All right. Everything just stock. This is what it would look like. But, yeah, it's stock in the front. All right. And I removed the spoiler just to save. Uh, some some weight so you know stock there it's 948 952 for those and 939 pound for just removing it so uh, and this thing is a slider this thing slides like nobody's business I mean it slides harder than the uh, you know the master this is the legend all right so it's the legend it's got the you know snow tire compound stock tires in the front stock tires in the back just to maximize that slip of course, it's got the TC 105 ends. It's at the bottom there in the sport rim style. It's got the 19s in the front, 19s in the back to save weight. It's got the upgraded track width in the front and upgraded track width in the rear. 
everything's all the same, you know, on there, except, you know, I try to make as many weight savings as possible here. It's got the 6B transmission, race drive line, and a drift differential. Here, it's just got stock brakes. I couldn't put any of these on here, all right? So, there, there's a difference right there. Um, you know, you could save all the way up to 2,900 pounds, which is nice, but it would go up to an S2 class, all right? Still got the uh, drift springs and tow ropers for both the front and the rear. Just to save weight. No roll cage, as you can tell. Same thing as the other one. It would go right up to an S2 class. This thing does have the full-on race reduction. So we're saving 671 pounds uh, versus whatever the 90 pounds of the other one was. So we're definitely saving a lot of weight here. I mean, look at that. 29.39 with all that power. Oh, yeah, you got power to weight, you know, power to weight ratio, baby. Uh, either way, yeah, it's awesome. And you're going to have a lot of fun uh, with this car if you don't mind running without the body kit, you know. Uh, it is up to you. That's why I made both of them. Because there are people out there uh, that don't like the wide body kits. They want, you know, it just to look, you know, stock or sleeper or something like that. So, uh, let's go into this tune and show you guys what I've done to it. There shouldn't be that much difference. Alright, here's my gearing. Here's my alignment. See, pretty much the same. I'm just, I was just shaving weight. And I, and basically it's, it's pretty much gearing, uh, you know, cause you, you take off all that weight, you know, everything acts different. Uh, anti roll bars are one in one, you know, springs are a little different because it's, you know, different. So it's, uh, this one's three, th 304.5 and 304.5, still the same four, four on, on both of those same dampenings, 21, 20, 20. There is no downforce on this one, so that's kind of nice versus the other one. So, you just leave that as go. As we know, we, we don't have any brakes on here. Who needs them, right? Right. And then the differential is 76, 86, 97, and 97, and 65 percent, again, to the rear. I, I tuned the wide body first before I tuned the one without the wide body. Um, so, there's that. Um, I did not touch anything in the car mastery. All right. And like I said, these recent captures here, that, that one right there is for, it was me uh, testing the, the speed of the, uh, you know, you know, the 850. You're going to see how crazy this thing can get some score, you know. It's a little glitchy, a little, you know, but hey, whatever. It is what it is. You guys get to see the score no matter what. That's all that matters. And both the wide body and in this one are very close in score. I mean, hey, look at that. 1.156. The wide body gets like a 1.154. Um, Very close. This one, it definitely is better. Um, uh, just because it doesn't have that extra weight. Um, so on and so forth. Um, you know, here's on the cathedral circuit. You know, with, with this one right here. I hit nearly 400,000 points. With this one, as you can tell, there's the car right there in the corner, and it is the one without the wide body kit. So, I mean, it hits good scores. Um, you know, there's the arch right there. Blanco circuit. Yeah, there. I, I've been. You can see I'm. I'm in like first on on all those except for that one. That one was, uh, you know. Someone using my tune as well, and we were just destroying. Um, but yeah, so yeah, there's cars that I'm showing the work on there. Um, if you guys want to just see the um, what the what the uh, A class uh, thing was like, um, this was it. You know, this is the A class with uh, 850 horsepower. And I thought, oh, you know what? I'm gonna make a race car out of this thing and see what I can do with it. And, uh, yeah, you know, she's fast. Look 
Let it off a little bit there, but I mean, look at that. With drag tires, all-wheel drive, 850 horsepower, this thing turns, and it, it does very well. It has no problem getting up to speed. For being an A-Class A800, A that's impressive. Yeah, look at that. Barely missed miss that, uh, that, that pole there. Sometimes you take and look at that, the front end just lifted up just a little bit. But sometimes you take this, uh, these cars around that corner, what do you do? You go right into the field to the left, you know? But yeah, I, so, yeah, I was working on, on that as well. But yeah, guys and girls. Well, hey, I hope you enjoy uh, these videos. If you do, definitely hit that like button. And uh, yeah, uh, you can still look in the engine compartment even when you have the 1,356 horsepower engine in there. So I thought that was funny um, that you could still do that. Uh, it's got a nice trunk, you know, nice back seats. I do like that yellow all the way through. It looks really, really good. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's a pretty gorgeous car. I really do like it. No, we're not going to go in there. You already know all about it. But yeah. Either way, guys. Well, I appreciate every single one of you guys. And I hope you enjoy. You guys enjoy my tunes. And I'll catch you guys next time. Stay sideways, my friends.